Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I have got my tracks at Summit with me. And I'm in Illinois, I'm traveling for work, and I decided to stop real quick before it gets dark because the sun's about to go down. And I had this in the van with me. And this is going to be the very first bashing session with this thing since installing the hot racing differentials. Um, I have used it once since installing it, but it wasn't really a bash. I never really pushed the diffs at all. It was just crawling. So today, we're actually going to test it out in the open and see if these diffs hold up. Now, I'm only going to be running on 4S. I'm crossing my fingers we make it through this bashing session, guys, because last time with the stock diffs, the last time I attempted bashing, they did not hold up. They gave. So crossing my fingers, these diffs hold up. So I'll be right back with you guys when I get this thing started up. Alrighty guys, I got her all started up. Now I'm still running those Proline Rock Rage tires, the 3.8s. Um, I shouldn't have any issues with them on 4S. Uh, 6S, they did not hold up to 6S very well. They balloon really bad, but we're not running on 6S. So let's go ahead, let's start off with, we're gonna start off slow, we're not starting off with a launch. If we start off with a launch, let's start it off on the gravel. I do apologize, it's breezy out guys, bear with me. Ready, get set, go. I mean, she's almost, oh, big tumble. She's lifting up the tires, actually. Just barely, but yeah. Oh, f me. Luckily, I have RPM arms on this and aluminum hubs, because I just ran that right into that, and I remembered that was there right when I was heading that way and I was turning. That's the issue when you're looking through the camera and not watching the RC car. I never learn. Let's go ahead and do a full throttle launch. Ready? Get set. Go. Yep, that was a full throttle launch. The diff is still intact after one full throttle launch, guys. I'm impressed. Like, I'm a little bit scared bringing it past me because it's kind of unpredictable. The handling is not great with the Summit. Fly by. Even after uh, tightening up the, the preload on the shocks quite a bit, she still, she still is very, very kind of tipsy and just kind of tipped back and forth and it just really kind of rolls a lot. Let's put it up on the picnic table and jump it off the picnic table. What do you think guys? I think that looks pretty cool. And we're gonna attempt to launch off here. Here we go. Smooth enough. Ooh. See, that's one of the issues. I think it's because this thing has such a short wheelbase. Once it goes wheels up, since it doesn't have a wheelie bar, it just grabs that rear bumper and tumbles over itself. It's very easy to tumble this thing. It's very difficult to do a controlled wheelie um, and modulate the throttle. It's really tough. I like the noise she makes too. Sounds a lot cooler. That's pinned. I think, I believe when I did a an on-road test with this, I believe 38 miles per hour or 39 is what I got with the 4S, which is perfect really. Ooh. Look at those tires. Those tires are ballooning. They're actually still ballooning pretty bad on 4S. 
She tops out quick, but it has so much more speed than it did before. Wheels up, wheelie. Spin it around. Let's crawl up over this. I don't know what this is. Let's see if we can get over it with the diffs unlocked. I think we can. Oh yeah, power over it. Oh, there's something there. Oh yeah, no problemo. We can do a launch right here. Yeah, let's do a launch right here real quick. Oh geez. I like the power she has on 4S, guys. I'm satisfied with it on 4S. I'm content. Really, it's pretty, it's not bad at all. In the ditch. Also guys, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. I put a lot of time and effort in making these videos and I really do appreciate it when you hit that thumbs up. Also consider subscribing if you're not because I travel for work. I bring my RC cars with me wherever I go. So I see a bunch of different places. Look at all the grass caught up on that skid plate. Here we go. Look at those lights. Pin. Yeah, she's not slow really not slow it's almost touching 40 miles per hour on 4s that's not bad at all bring her back for another flyby guys here we go I'm pinned oh nearly lost control of it twice once over here and another time right here that's what happens it bobs the, the whole chassis like it sways back and forth so that's no good No, no good for control anyway. I love the way it squats though, it just looks cool. Just bad for handling. Around that tree. Another one back down. I really do enjoy the Summit, guys. It's a ton of fun. When it holds up, like this amount of power is perfect. I wish the Summit came with this kind of power. That would be awesome. So far, no diff clicking, no diff issues. So let's cross our fingers it stays that way till these batteries die. And then this will be the very first bass session, that, uh, first brushless bass session that it will have made it through if uh, she doesn't break. Yeah, there's, I have no way of modulating that throttle. That was only like half throttle and it just lifted up and then it's right on that rear uh, bumper. Guys, let me know what you guys think of the Summit. I just wish it could hold the power stock and this would be like the perfect machine. Oh, and if it's a little bit more balanced, that would be great. Almost tipped it. See what I mean? It's, it's not a handling machine. The Summit definitely isn't. I don't know what you can possibly do to turn it into a handling machine, to be honest. It sits too high. It would almost ha it, you'd have to adjust like the height. You'd probably have to put shorter push rods. Maybe the E-Revo push rods. I'm guessing those probably fit on this. You'd probably have to hunker it down more like an E-Revo because the center of gravity is too high on this thing. Ooh.
The reason I've left these tires on is I feel like for bashing, these are gonna soak up bumps pretty darn good compared to anything else I could possibly throw on these. See how she kind of jumped there at the line? There's so much squat. Uh-oh. No. No. I heard some clicking. That's a diff. You gotta be joking. That's a major bummer. I mean, I don't feel like I was that hard on it. I did a few th full throttle launches in the grass. There's no reason why it should be, the diff should be giving up. Those diffs cost a hundred bucks for the two. Gosh, I'm pissed. I've had so many diff issues with RCs too. I've just freaking had it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Sounded like diff, felt like diff. We lost a rear right there. That's gone. That's a major bummer, guys. Let me know what you guys think I should do in the comments below. That's just very unsatisfying because I was worried about that. That's part of the reason why I haven't bashed it yet. Was worried whether or not I can hold up. And I've been bashing for 20 minutes, maybe. 15, 20. And that diff was not able to hold up. The rear one gave. That's why I can't rely on the Summit to be a, like a, a consistent basher because he's not consistent. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, look, there's no rear drive right now. There. Let me put it in the low gear. We lost all rear drive, it looks like. Well, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Later.